and welcome back to another weekly vlog i hope you guys are super well i have just been filming i've just been filming this hair tutorial uh just for like tiktok and reels um actually well this was like part of it i actually had it in a half up half down pony as well um just took that out but yeah done another hair tutorial i actually feel like i need my hair cut again um i can't show you now but i will try and show you because i can't be asked to take my hair down but i'll try and show you later in the week um but basically this side of my hair is so much thinner um especially on the ends it's getting thicker slowly but it's just like this little section here where there's just hardly any hair i did buy some clipping hair extensions so i could dye them but it's just very difficult obviously with semi-permanent hair color every time i wash my hair it changes and so will the hair extensions although i guess i could wash the hair extensions every time i wash my hair because i'd only probably need one or two clipping ones um on this side just to fill out this little bottom bit um just to make it a bit more full um uh, this side's absolutely fine or i just need it cut again like up to here get a little like an inch or something cut off um but we shall see i might try the hair extension thing if i have time and can be bothered but yeah, just thought I'd film a little hair tutorial. To be, to be fair, I don't think I'll be filming any more hair tutorials for a while um, because it's Halloween soon and I will be starting to share my Halloween content. Um, but yeah, had a call with the doctor this morning. So I've actually got private healthcare with Boopa, which is actually really good. And as a member, you get um, exclusive access to this doctor app called Babylon. And literally, I booked an appointment on there just to chat to a nurse about kind of my symptoms. Because I know I spoke to you guys about, like, dizziness. Potentially, I don't know if it's coincidence, but after having the Pfizer vaccine. So, obviously, I had my vaccine, like, a few months ago. And maybe, like, two or three months ago, my first one. And then I had my second one, like, four or five weeks after that. Um... But I just keep getting periods of where I feel like really dizzy and off balance and my motion sickness is so bad at the moment so I can't really drive. Um, and she actually said she thinks I've got vertigo. So yeah, she said I can get some tablets from the doctors um, that might help but might be best to go in and see them and they can like do some head movements to try and sort out the inner ear um and to get someone to actually check me over so i think i'm gonna try and sort that out but yeah interesting to hear that i could potentially have vertigo so weird because i like after the first vaccine i had it every day um but now i just get periods of it but like literally it, any sort of vehicle moving like in the car i just feel really really just not right and very nauseous and yeah um anyway so I need to sort that out. I feel like my health at the moment is just all over the place. I've got that to deal with. I've got an MRI scan on my heart because I get tested every three years for ARVC, which is a heart disease. That's coming up at the end of October. I'm also sorting out my back at the moment. It's just, yeah, it's just one of those times where like, yeah, just everything is all at once, which is super frustrating, especially when I'm like busy with work as well. But obviously I'm trying to put my health first. Um, but yeah, um, we have also, I feel like I've got so much to tell you guys. Um, we've also um, in the middle of selling our old house because being landlords was super stressful. Our tenants weren't that great. They kept missing payments. And obviously we had a mortgage to keep on the house. And we just thought, you know what? It, did us well in terms of living in it whilst renovating this house but let's just get rid of it because the house prices at the moment are really really high so we've made a nice little profit which is great so we're in the process of selling that so we need to go and drop off some forms today um so yeah it's all go 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 for a monday um but yeah and i also need to go and eat lunch actually i feel like we need to even go food shopping oh mondays honestly sometimes are just like the worst day they're so busy another day another halloween tutorial I am filming Cruella today. I actually did a Cruella look, um, when was it? Earlier this year when I did a Disney series on my Instagram and TikTok. But I thought I'd do more of like a Halloween-y Cruella. But before I do that, just wanted to show you this. It's not an ad or anything, but I've had the worst two spots here. And I asked my sister if she could recommend any products. And she said that she got this from Sainsbury's 
Freederm Innovative Spot Care results in three hours, decreases spot size and reduces redness. I put this on last night and it's reduced the size of them already by today. So I'm actually going to put a little bit more on underneath my makeup. I'm going to let it seep in first. But yeah, guys, get your hand on this if you've got any spots because it's great and it actually does work. Right, I'm going to wait for that to dry and then we're going to get going on with the Halloween tutorial. So, I thought this might be quite interesting to tell you guys, basically. So, before I film a tutorial, I'll sit down and I'll figure out, like, how many videos I'm going to do. So, obviously, for TikTok, I'll do, like, a glow up. I'll do a tutorial. Um, maybe two glow ups and a tutorial. Um, but, yeah, so today I'm doing, I've got an ad with Eyelaw. So, one of my videos is an ad with Eyelaw. Then I'm doing a TikTok uh, tutorial. And that's going to go on Instagram, too. And then I'll do a glow up for TikTok. So I've got three videos. So I kind of go through, find the songs I'm going to use. And then once I found the songs, I then go in my notes and I basically write down like a bit of a storyboard of each section of the video. Like how many cuts is going to be, if I'm doing any like transitions, um, what my makeup is going to be before the transition, after the transition, and then what the next transition is going to be. So yeah, I kind of sit down, just like make a load of notes. Um, so it, like it takes me a good hour to do all that really before I even start filming. Actually, probably not an hour, maybe half an hour. Well, actually, it depends because finding the music and stuff is quite hard. So yeah, it probably does take about an hour, hour and a half to find the music and everything and figure out what I'm going to do. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd share that with you guys. Um, I thought that'd be interesting to know. Another Halloween look ticked off my list. Of guys, you can pretty much tell who I am. Um, I did a Cruella look. Um, I actually had a contact lens in this eye, which looked really, really cool. Um, so I'm at breath because I just ran upstairs. I forgot to vlog this look and I was about to take it off. So I was like, no. So I ran back upstairs just to show you guys a little sneaky peek. Uh, but yeah, got inspired by quite a few um, MUAs um, with this look. But I'll credit them when I upload the um, tutorial, which will be sometime in October. Uh, but yeah, absolutely obsessed. This is a super easy Halloween look to, to like recreate. So I think this will be a great one for you guys for Halloween. Also, I'm loving this green eye makeup on this eye as well. Obsessed. Um, ignore this. I wore a fur coat and it kind of just like splodged and went everywhere, but you couldn't really see it in the um, finished look. But yeah, gonna take this off now, have some lunch. I'm so hungry. Um, yeah, but just wanted to show you a little snake peek. Oh, morning guys. I am tired. Um, Robin woke up at like 4am because he's gone to Sweden for his granddad's funeral which is really sad bless him um, but his granddad was like made it to 93 or 97 late 90s mid 90s so he had a really really good run bless him um, sadly couldn't go because obviously I've organised my friend's baby shower this weekend and just with travel at the moment and doing like test before you fly and test when you come home it was just a bit close together and a bit of a rush so sadly I wasn't able to go but Sweden have really strict rules anyway so I don't know if I would have even been able to go even though I am married to Robin but I think it's only like family and relatives that are able to go but I might have been able to get in anyway but anyway so yeah so he's gone there for two days so it's just me and the dogs at home but I've got an exciting meeting in London today so yeah can't say who it's with but it's a design meeting um i'm doing like a collaboration product so freaking excited this is actually something that i've wanted for like the last two to three years so i've been waiting patiently but the time is obviously right now it's meant to be and when they approached me and I kind of pitched this idea to them and they loved it. So yeah, really excited. So going for my first design meeting, um, hoping the product's gonna be out sort of March time next year, but we shall see. Um, but yeah, very, very exciting. So I thought you guys could help me pick a comfy outfit to wear to London today. I also might 
pop into Westfield on the way home and go and look in Zara because I saw someone's reels the other day and there are some cute bits in Zara. So yeah, I'll take my camera with me. Obviously I can't vlog the meeting or where I'm going, but if I stop off at any shops after, I will try and vlog any cute bits that I see. Okay, so I'm gonna wear my new faux leather trousers from Motel. I haven't actually worn these out yet, but they fit me quite well. They're a little bit baggy here, but just a tiny bit but with a belt and just the fit is so comfy. I really, really like them. I'll show you guys in a minute when I've got my full outfit on, can't talk. Then top wise, I'm thinking a little mesh top. So it's quite hot outside today. It's actually inside out, but it's this mesh top I got from Urban Outfitters like years ago, but I love it so much. It's just stayed in my wardrobe ever since. So yeah, it's that. And then obviously you need to layer something underneath, but I might actually put a sports bra on just cause I feel a little bit exposed wearing just a black bra. So yeah, I think I might put this sports bra on that I've got from the Girlfriend Collective, which is a sustainable gym wear brand. Check them out. Their stuff is super cute. Putting sports bras on sometimes are the worst. Like when they get all tangled at the back and you can just put your hands underneath. Whew, okay, cute. Let's pop this mesh top over the top. Then that way I don't really need to wear a jacket in London. Although I do I bring a jacket just in case because I always get cold. Mm -hmm. I don't think I need a jacket. Yeah, cute. I might even tuck that into the sports bra actually. Like so. A little bit of midriff showings, always cute. Okay, now I need a belt. Cool, so I've popped on my Gucci belt. Jewelry, jewelry, jewelry. I can't say it. I want to say it with a fringe accent. Um, okay, necklace. I'll just go with this one. I got this one from Regal Rose a while ago, but I think it's still on their website. I actually need to do something with my hair as well because it's not good. Cute hair is done. I just popped it in these little like half up, half down pigtails. Gap my hairspray. I'm just gonna spritz just to tame any flyaways. My hair needs to wash tomorrow anyway, so. Yeah. A little bit of a spritz. Haven't really done anything to the ends, but pff, just leave them, they look all right. Um, and then I just need some earrings. I need some gold earrings. Okay, I'm gonna shove in these little hamster hand earrings super cute they are from regal rose as well i actually really like their jewelry um they do some really cute pieces are we in we're in no uno um god i'm tired today I might go and have some breakfast before i head to london and then i might grab a cup of tea or coffee or something on the train Oh yeah, I'm gonna do that. Cute. Just need some shoesies now. Might wear my dot mines or trainers. Okay, hmm. guys, this is my outfit. Totally need to clean my mirror. Saws. Um, yeah, these are the trousers. Super cute, like baggy. They fit me really nice around my hips and my bum because normally, like this is why I chucked out my old trousers. Well, not chucked them out. I gave them to e-bloggers um, for you guys to buy, which I haven't actually done yet. I need to send my stuff to e-bloggers um, so you guys can shop my old wardrobe and my secondhand bits. But yeah, so the reason I got rid of my other trousers was because they were just so tight around here. I was really uncomfortable. But these have got some room. They're super comfy. I can like move around and yeah I like the fact that they're like straight leg but baggy they'll look really nice with like boots or some chunky trainers like chunky shoes um but yeah this is my outfit guys da -da -da -da. right I'm gonna go and have some breakfast and then let's get to London What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life. Back from London. I'll catch up with you in a sec about my meeting. But yeah, so just went shopping and on the train home, I thought I'd pop on my stories because 
As you could see, I was having a difficult time buying jeans for my figure. Honestly, so I think you guys might know if you watch my vlogs weekly that I had a bit of a wardrobe clear out recently and I got rid of a lot of jeans, which will be sold on eBloggers. I will let you know when I've sent all my stuff to eBloggers at the moment, it's in a big bag. Um, but basically my jeans just ha have stopped fitting really. Obviously, because I'm weight training, my bum has got a lot bigger. My thighs have got chunkier from building muscle, um, which is absolutely fine. But yeah, my jeans just don't fit anymore. They're all just very tight and like uncomfortable. And if I go out for dinner and eat, I feel like I have to undo the bottom, uh, undo the buttons. So yeah, it's time to get some new jeans. So I went to Levi's because Levi's is like my fave jean brand, but they just don't really do jeans for my figure. They said about going to their Regent Street store and getting them tailored, but obviously I don't know how expensive that is. If you have to pay, I have no idea. I would assume that you would. Um, but yeah, so I put on my stories about struggling in terms of having my kind of curvy figure and struggling buying jeans. A lot of you guys said you have the same issues where the jeans look like they fit the front, but then they gape like so much at the back. And yeah, also like where jeans are so tight around your bum and hips, but don't fit around the waist or they fit around the waist or you know they'll fit around the waist, but you can't get them over your bum and hips. So annoying. Honestly, first world problems. Um, no, but seriously, it is really frustrating. Like you wanna go, when you go shopping, 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 it's so like, frustrating when you want to try on clothes to make you feel good and they you just feel awful in them really and like I can see why you know girls would change their weight and do things to lose weight and change their weight to fit in these clothes because they are not fitting them it's so difficult but I am not losing weight to fit in a pair of jeans so I want to find some jeans that will fit me like a glove. Um, I don't mind them being a little bit baggy around the waist, that's fine because I love wearing belts, but obviously when they're like so big out the back, it's just annoying. And I don't wanna have to get them altered either. Like why should we have to do that? Anyway, you guys gave me some tips on some brands. So I've ordered a couple of jeans. So when they arrive next week or the week after, I will try them on. I bought some from Abercrombie. So the Abercrombie, uh, let me find out which ones they are. So the Abercrombie Curve Love 90s ultra high rise straight jeans look great so i've ordered those to see what they're like they also do them in lots of different colors as well it is this one here don't know if this is going to work come on this star um and also not that i like shopping on fast fashion brands but pretty little thing have their shape range which someone recommended and actually like the shape of the model is exactly the kind of shape that I've got. Small waist, big bum, big thighs. So like just looking at some of these, this sort of figure and shape, I'm gonna keep them as an option. I haven't ordered any, but I'll keep them as an option. I also ordered a pair of cream jeans from River Island because um, someone else also recommended them. Basically, I've ordered just a few pairs of jeans to try on at home. I ordered some from Zalando recently, which I might have told you guys, and they just did not fit. So, yeah, beige high-waisted straight jeans from River Island. They look really nice. I don't really have high hopes, but beige jeans for autumn winter, lush. Um, and then I ordered from ASOS the ASOS Design Hourglass High-Rise Stretch Slim Straight Leg Jean here lots of you recommended the asos hourglass shape so we shall try i will let you guys know how i get on i just want like a nice pair of black jeans i've got some from zara ages ago but i went to zara today also guys zara i didn't see anything didn't see anything but i've got some goodies from urban outfitters which i'm going to quickly show you um i've got this dress which i showed you in the clip before where i was in the changing room i love that for autumn winter with some black boots leather jacket i also got this so you saw me try on the purple like the lilac um lace bodice well i got it in brown as well thought it would look really super like super cute layering over 
like mesh tops or shirts like this House of Sunny one. I'm obsessed with this print. I didn't end up buying, I love House of Sunny, but I didn't end up buying this collection because I just didn't think the jeans jeans the trousers would fit me from the range but I've just managed to find a size 10 online which I've ordered from three people in the same print as the shirt because I tried on the trousers in an eight in the store and they're just a little bit tight but I think the 10 will fit um it's, they're so hard to get hold of because House of Sunny have stopped doing that line um also got this top super good and I've got the lilac um body cute for a night out and also layering over stuff so yeah, got a few little bits. Um, I'm gonna go downstairs now, have some food, and I will actually update you on my meeting. Well, from what I can tell you about the meeting. So, meeting went really, really well. Um, it's my first design meeting for like a product collaboration. I can't really say what it is um, about, so I wanna keep it a secret. But you guys are gonna be obsessed with it. And I just cannot wait, but yeah, it went really, really well. The brand and I are on the same wavelength, from the same line. Um, they get me, and oh, two seconds, got a phone call. So I will tell you about that phone call in a second. Um, it's all going on today. What was I even saying? Yeah, you guys are gonna love this collection that I'm doing. Um, I don't even know what I was saying before, but yeah, it went really, really well. And it's just so nice that a brand is like on the same wavelength as me, and I feel like, the partnership is perfect for what, like for my ideas and like what I pitch to them, it, it just feels right. So even though I've been waiting to do this kind of collection for about three years now, I feel like it's worth the wait. Um, so yeah, really exciting. Uh, but yeah, I just had a phone call because basically every three years I have to get a um, heart test because when my dad passed away, they did an autopsy because he was, in, he was in a motorbike accident. They did an autopsy on him and found out he had a heart disease. Now, we don't know whether the heart disease killed him or not, but obviously he had a heart disease, so we automatically get tested because it's genetic. So I have been tested quite a few times already, but the time has come to be tested again. Honestly, the three years go so quick. So I go in and I have like a family screening appointment where they chat to me. Uh, but that's going to be on the phone this time, which I had to just change the appointment for. Um, and then I have a 24-hour tape. So they put they hook me up to like a 24-hour heart tape monitor. I have to wear it for 24 hours. And then I take it back. And then I also get an MRI scan um, on my heart. So, yeah. Um, scary, but kind of grateful that I get the opportunity to get something like this and to be monitored by one of the best heart hospitals in the UK, Papworth, um, in Cambridge. So yeah, so basically it's all go, 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 because all the appointments are in October, which is my busiest month, because I think we might be going away for my birthday, because I didn't get to go away for my 30th last year, and it was always kind of a bit of a dream of mine to be away for my 30th and have a big like 30th birthday trip. So we might be going away in October. I've also got Halloween. So yeah, it's just a crazy, crazy month right now. Um, not even right now, next month. It hasn't even started yet and it's just mental. But yes, yeah, so I've just had to move some of the appointments around, but hopefully it'll be okay now. But anyway, I'm gonna have some food because I'm hungry. And I've been chatting a lot. Awesome. Guys, this look is such a vibe. Um, I was inspired by Jord Shia on TikTok. I don't know whether any of you follow her. She always does like really sick eye looks with really colourful like rainbow digital like backgrounds. <clears throat> oh, and um, yeah, so I tried out the chain eyeliner trend a little bit late to it on TikTok, but I thought I'd try it out. And I'm literally obsessed with this. How frigging cute. It's very 60s, but I love it. I also love this like minty lime green matches my new House of Sunny Cardi that I finally got. Whoop, whoop. I ordered it on um, pre-order back in like February and their pre-order messed up. So basically I got it like two months late. But anyway, it's here and I'm freaking loving it. And I actually got the matching trousers too. Um, so yeah, I'll style it up soon for you guys. But yeah, just utilised it for this look today, which I love. Do we love it? Freaking love it. So cute. Also with the nude lip. Brown, nude, brownie nudes, and like this limey green, just the perfect colour combo. <sighs> Sorry, I just yawned, I'm tired. Um, I just got a delivery from a brand called Another Girl. They are a sustainable clothing brand. 
and yeah let's try the pieces on so got these trousers in a swirl print i know but they're fucking sick i don't know if they're gonna fit i'm gonna be gusted if they don't but i love that print it's perfect for autumn winter and then i've got this really cool cobalt in this like beige and um white checkerboard trousers top let's get it on so i knew this was gonna happen we've got this issue again look at that it's so annoying however i'm gonna quickly try i think i love these jeans they fit me so well let me just show you fit me so well not on the waist but on the legs like they're so lush like i freaking love them there's actually a jacket that it comes with but i just got the trousers but yeah i really really like them they fit me really well on the legs and i love the style just like that straight leg it's slightly cropped so it'll look really cute with like boots i love it but yeah sadly it doesn't fit here but i could get them darted so they fit so i think i will keep them but see if i can get someone to just tailor them a little bit like i reckon all i'd need is some, like two little darts to put in at the back so they fit or i'm just going to try this so i saw um fashion influx talk about these little um buttons that you can get which have got a pin in on amazon so i ordered these ages ago and i thought i would just get them just in case and i found a black one i'm just going to try it out because i reckon so i've undone the original button and i reckon if i put the new button here i'm just going to try it i can oh my god it's quite difficult with nails Is that how, oh wrong way around okay I go like wait like that what does that do little bit better although you get this happening so yeah slight fail a slight fail yeah look at this Woo! um yeah so that's not worked but i think i'm gonna get them dyed it's literally just this bit here like that i'm gonna do it i'm gonna get it done because you're not gonna really notice it that much and also these trousers are so nice like i want to wear them so i think i'm gonna have to get them darted i might know someone as well got the trousers on from this co-ord and they fit me so well oh my god the fabric feels so nice okay let's get the top on I'm excited about this guys excuse the fact that i've not got a bra on i definitely need a bra with this and i could potentially tuck it in as well but i love it oh my god it is so comfy i love the fact that the trousers are like quite flared um definitely would need to just wear some chunky shoes or some little white boots would look really cute um the arse actually looks good um in this but yeah i oh my god guys this is so nice and the fabric's amazing i love this checkerboard print so 90s it's so on trend right now and yeah this is just a really really comfy cord for autumn so nice i definitely think i'd put like a bra on underneath and i could even just tuck it in if i wanted to just to cinch the waist, like make more of an emphasis on the waistband. Because the trousers are quite high waisted. I feel like that looks really cute. But you could also just have it long as well. Love it! So yeah, those bits were from a brand called Another Girl. So I will pop a link below if any of you are interested. Just taking off my eye makeup because I'm going to go to the gym in a minute. Um, but I've got counselling now probably shouldn't talk too loud basically robin's not here so i've had to pretend that i'm going out because if the dogs if i've got the dogs away and they know i'm in the house they'll just bark and obviously i'm doing my counseling and it's on zoom so i've got my ipad ready um i don't want them to bark <laughs> whilst i'm mid counseling so i've come right to the top floor and i shut the i openly shut the front door to pretend that i've gone and then i literally snuck up the stairs i did like a spider crawl on the stairs really really slowly so i didn't make any sounds but it's quiet at the moment so fingers crossed i say quiet Ugh, i can't talk 
they stay quiet for my um session wow that um spot is sticking out honestly i've pretty much got rid of these ones they're just like drying out still but they're not really painful anymore but this one's been under my skin for a while and today it is starting to come through i am about to head down to portsmouth so you guys might know Paige Joanna. She is a craft blogger, one of my closest friends. She's having a baby. So super exciting. She's having a baby girl. It is due the end of November. I feel like she's, is she 30 weeks now? Can't remember. She's very, very close to um, giving birth though. But yes, yeah, so uh, me and Charlotte Jones have been organising a baby shower for her. It is going to be hosted at her house. The baby shower is tomorrow. So I'm just heading down. Basically, I don't know whether I told you guys, I I have private healthcare with Bupa. This is like, I'm doing a bit of backstory here. And I get this, um, there's an app called Babylon, which is really good, by the way. Um, and it's like a digital GP. I don't know whether I told you, but basically, the, the lady that I spoke to thinks I've got vertigo. Tried to book an appointment at the GP, but I cannot get one till next week. But basically, every time I drive, just my motion sickness is just not good. Like, I feel like I can't concentrate. I feel nauseous and it's just not great. So it's a long drive to Portsmouth and I was going to drive down and back tomorrow for the day. But because I can't really drive, Robin's not here. He's not coming with me. Um, Robin's actually flying back tonight, but I won't see him until tomorrow because I'm going to leave before he gets back. But um, yeah, basically, I can't really drive at the moment because it just kind of... Um, yeah, it reacts this vertigo that I have got, which is weird because I've told you guys for months now that I've been like having dizzy spells and stuff. And it's ever since I got the Pfizer vaccine. I don't know whether it's a coincidence or whether it is that. Um, even the lady said on the phone, lots of people have been ringing up with symptoms from the vaccine. I mean, who the hell knows? It might be something else. But basically, that's kind of the same time that it started. And it's eased off a bit. And she did say it could take like three to four months for Vertigo to just go. Um, my symptoms, I don't get them all the time. Like I feel fine now. But yeah, when I'm in like a vehicle moving, it like brings it on. So I can't drive. So I'm getting the train down. So I'm going down tonight on the train. I've got a massive suitcase full of baby shower bits. Uh, basically, me and Charlotte have just kind of split all the decor and bits and bobs that we're getting. Basically, we're doing a baby fest. So me, Paige and Charlotte would always go to festivals together back in the day. Um, so we're doing a festival baby shower. Paige is going to absolutely love it. It's all like colourful rainbow themed. Um, yeah, so it's going to be amazing. Um, I've actually hired a decor lady in Portsmouth to come and set up because basically I was meant to set up all the decor because I've got pallets and I've got like pampas grass and stuff and I was going to set up like a little boho picnic in her garden. But obviously because I can't drive now, I managed to find someone um, last minute that was free and actually really affordable. It's, it's pretty much, I think, comes to about seven or eight pound a head um, to set all of this up in the garden. So she's going to absolutely love it, but it just takes the pressure off of me because um, I can't be lugging down pallets and stuff to Portsmouth. Um, but yeah, so going down there, got everything. I will obviously vlog the baby shower and show you guys us setting up. We've got loads of balloons to blow up. And yeah, it's going to be really exciting. Really nice day. The weather's amazing tomorrow. Haven't also seen Paige's new house because she actually moved to Portsmouth quite recently, about two months ago. So going to see her new house. She's just done the nursery for her baby. Um, so yeah, super exciting a little weekend for me. Hey guys. Oh, I'm feeling tired. I'm just finishing getting ready. Um, I'm at Paige's house. So Paige has just gone off to have brunch with her ooh, husband. And I've got a lady coming from a company called Blooming Tablescapes. I'll pop a link below to her Instagram. Um, I feel like she's just kind of started the business in Portsmouth and the local areas. Um, but she's got some really cute like boho picnic setups found her online and she's available last minute so she's coming shortly to set up a boho picnic set up in the garden which would be really really cute and then I've got decor to pop up I'll show you little snippets and stuff balloons to blow up 
Um, the only downside is I'm on my own setting up for a few hours because basically there's been a bit of a panic buy of petrol. So everyone that was driving pretty much can't drive now because everyone's driving from quite far and no one's going to know if they can get petrol or whatever. So yeah, it's like COVID all over again with the whole toilet roll situation and the empty shelves at the supermarket. Everyone's panic buying because the media has scared them into the fact there's going to be no petrol. So now everyone's just going to get petrol. So now everyone's getting the train, but the trains are all delayed. Um, it's so typical. But anyway, because I came down the day before um, Paige's baby shower. Um, yeah, I'm here, ready. But thank God. So yeah, just waiting for the lady to come and set up. I'm going to finish my makeup. And then, yeah, we'll... Um, I just need to start blowing up balloons, really. I'll show you a few little bits that I've got in a minute. So, here's a little baby shower gift basket that I've made for Paige. I've got lots of little baby goodies in there. Then for decor, I've got this ginger ray balloon backdrop set, which I was thinking of doing across this little section of the wall here, which I think will look great. Then I made this sign for her so it's a festival theme of course so we've done like welcome to pages baby fair super cute um and then i've basically got a few little bits got like paper straws pop cups that say um hello baby so we've gone for like a rainbow pastel kind of theme um i've got some like of my old tools that i used to do that i've still got spare at home i've got some bunting it's really cute but from amazon napkins i've got some paper plates so yeah i don't even know if we'll really use these though because i've got a company coming to set up their decor and like the boho picnic table and i think they bring like like china plates and stuff but i might just use them because it just means less washing up and it's just easier um, and we can just recycle everything um so yeah excited i'm gonna start blowing up some balloons Lights a spark It's like you know me In the depths of my heart We're dreamers awful today <laughs> so tired got a hot water bottle because i'm on my period come on today and my belly hurts a lot and i feel a bit sicky and i'm so tired honestly why did we get dealt with periods for every one to well one to two days every month i'm just like no um, my skin is so bad as well. I've got a huge, like, bloody golf ball on my head. Um, which is a spot. It sticks out so much. <laughs> um, anyway, baby shower was amazing. Paige absolutely loved it, bless her. Um, had such a cute day. It was nice to see everyone and get together. Spend some time with Paige at her new house. Um, yeah. It was amazing. Super, super fun. Home now, obviously. Came home last night. Got home about 10. Just, yeah, very, very tired today. And I came on my period during the night. So just not a fun day. I, uh, I um, had, I have so much to do today. But I just don't think I can really do anything, to be honest. Because I'm just so like, meh. So I feel like I'm just going to take the day off. Maybe I'll do some bits later, but right now I'm just so like, no. So I'm just going to chill. Um, but thanks so much for watching my vlog. Hope you enjoyed what got up to this week. And I will see you guys in another one very, very soon. Peace out.